So my research interests are within sociocultural anthropology and I'm looking broadly at um, the impacts of higher education on young people and their futures. So that can be, um, especially in Cambodia, the boom in attendance at public uh, and private universities here uh, creates this kind of social change um, that I'm really interested in studying and really interested in, in seeing uh, what is similar and what's different across both Cambodia and Cambodians, <laughs> as well as internationally in other places where um, mass higher education is also booming. So. Yeah, that's the broader implications of my research project. <laughs> so um, I actually learned about the CKS program uh, by participating in the um, summer intensive study with the University of Hawaii program, uh, their language program, um, which was always partnered with CKS. Um, so my first time uh, interacting with CKS and CKS staff was actually in 2013 and then again in 2015, and then again in 2019, <laughs> doing a lot of intensive language study. Um, and through those experiences, I got to know um, graduate students who were in the programs and, um, and the research types of research they were doing and found out that they were also on CKS fellowships as well as like learning uh, Khmer with CKS. So I thought once I entered my PhD program, it was like a logical next step for me. <laughs> Yeah. I think the CKS fellowship is kind of a one of a kind <laughs> kind of fellowship. Um, there are other grants out there for things like sociocultural anthropology and things um, and dif different disciplinary specific grants and US government grants. But um, the CKS fellowship is really helpful for one, building my own network of graduate students and fellow researchers that are both Cambodians and internationals, um, and helping me like have enough funds so that I can do the project that I would want to do. So it's been really helpful both in terms of networking as well as like providing me with the, the research money that I need to make sure I'm like, um, I can hire like transcription assistants and things like that, which is really important for my work. Oh, <laughs> that's another really big question, <laughs> for me at least. Um, I, I first came to Cambodia in 2007, um, and after that I became involved in a nonprofit organization that was um, giving scholarships to low-income students to go to private primary and secondary schools. And from that I started to become more curious about um, this, the education history in Cambodia, the opportunities that were available for young people, and what made uh, families choose to send their kids to private primary and secondary schools. From that initial interaction and that initial experience with a nonprofit organization, I started realizing my goals and um, passion for research and conducting research in Cambodia. As you might guess, I work a lot in university student, student spaces as well as university lecturer spaces. Um, so the amount of support and encouragement I've gotten from lecturers and students as they introduce me to friends who might be interested in doing interviews with me for my research and um, the welcome I receive in different like attending social and like professional events <laughs> is always wonderful. So absolutely the people <laughs> is the best part, yeah. Um, accessing those wonderful people who helped me build my network um, and introduced me to so many people that were important for my research was really difficult during the pandemic. And so in a lot of ways, um, CKS really facilitated those introductions um, by introducing me to their network of uh, researchers and lecturers who would be able to then introduce me to other people. Um, so that was probably the biggest challenge, especially in the first six months of my research project.
In general, um, if you want to come and do research in Cambodia, I would really recommend starting to learn Khmer, even if it's at a basic level. Um, you have access to so many more resources and so many more interactions with people um, that make the research process, one, more interesting, and two, more enjoyable. <laughs>